Welcome to Buddy Dragons, and this is part two of the big blue bird that I started on Tuesday. Yeah. No, wait. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday. I have my days mixed it all up, and the time has no meaning anymore. It still doesn't. You know? Never. I like my allergies as well. So yeah, so we're stuck crap. inside. Well, I've kind of got allergies too, because we live in an area where there's like a crap load of birch trees out front, so all the windows are closed, and you go outside, it's just, it's both of us are just like. Sneeze. Yeah, it's it's a lovely sight, you know, but oh, well, yeah, fire's coming tomorrow. yeah, so oh, there's tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. it was supposed to be the computer arm today, wasn't it? My mom, my the, the arm for my ancient spare mortar. But it still works, so why get rid of it? Yeah, I just found it like a few weeks ago. It took a while. I lost the actual normal stand that came with it. I don't know where it went. I'm I know we had it for like ten years. Yeah, and now I don't know where it went. It's kind of like where the hell it was. It dates back to like two thousand nine. And it works, so why keep why get rid of it? He's, he, yeah, he, I just uncovered it. I didn't know so had it. I mean, but so I mean. If he's playing a game like Days or whatever, he can look at the map on that screen while he's walking around yeah. trying to survive or not be eaten by like zombies or the infected or bandits. Or, or bandits. Or bandits, yeah. Yeah, well, thanks to every day they're continuing Hermes' uh, notorious reputation. Yeah, even with the rain brand. Between half past one and half past three, and my monitor arm is still a wall. Yeah, and at he... Half past five. Five, five, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Technically, it just started yeah, over. Half past five. So, but yeah. So even with a rebrand, you know, whatever. We're not talking about Hermes, you even though. Be better. We're going worse. Yeah. So we're talking about this bird, and what I thought about the pencils is what I was going to talk about. So these are the Posca pencils with the cube uh, Derwent color sloths, which I'll do not like a finished piece with them too, because I like Derwent color sloths, like most Derwent stuff. You know, it's just well, it's easy for me to get Derwent supplies because they're made in down south in the where exactly are they made? I can't remember. It's a, Cumbria. Cumbria, thank you. But yeah, Poscas, I don't know where they're made. Probably Japan, because they're from like the people that made, you know, Poscas. So, Posca pencils Mr. themselves. Bushy pencil yeah, that's right, Mr. Bushy, because it's not just cards they make, they do make other stuff too. They make lots of like, yes, they air do. conditioners and yes. other things. Yeah, they do, I know. Um, and, uh, I lost my hair thought there, because I was looking at the screen. <laughs> it's like using my breasts to get rid of the stuff. But yeah, so the pencils, they blend nice. What they can blend, they don't very blend very well on this paper. So this pencil, this paper, mixed media paper, yes, not for colored pencils. I mean, I like a paper with where it doesn't take like dozens and dozens of layers. But this took two before you could do anything else with it. And that's not even enough to do really anything. If as long if you want to do any kind of blending, it's not enough. So don't use this paper for. And I can't remember what this paper is called because I don't have it in front of me. Or I do, but no, I don't. I don't know where it was. This paper is a Nova series something. Oh, there it is. It's by uh, 200, 200. I don't know. I can't move it because I'll everything will go okay, toppling. So, uh, but so I'm gonna try it with some oil pastels next. Like I've got plenty uh, of oil pastels. It is made by a company called Stillman and Burns. Which is a good company. So that's why I, I'm, I'm holding out hope for this paper. Maybe I'm just using the wrong, wrong medium on it. Very likely. You do have some papers that say even though they're mixed medium, they only work. They don't work with everything. There's way too many art supplies out there to, for everything, like paper to work with every material out there. So, dry media, light washing ink. Yeah, so I'm gonna try some oil pastels next. Um, it shouldn't take too long for me to do it, but I'm not doing the I think the next one's gonna be markers, but I'm not really 100% sure. It's only like, what, Thursday? I don't know, yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> like I said, time has no meaning. I don't know what day of week it is even. Which is why I'm recording this now, so I don't forget to upload it on Friday. <laughs> but yeah. The blues, they blend really nice. There were two blues, like a turquoise and a blue. They're really nice. I do like the blue. Like I said, I like the colors of the pencils. They're very vibrant. They blend well as they can on this paper. <laughs> um, they're very soft. Now, I'm not used to using soft pencils anymore because I use polychromos and they're a harder oil base. These are probably wax, actually. Yeah, they're probably wax. Um, I should do a whole colored pencil thing. Even though it's been done before, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, colored pencils, like I said, since each them since I was in the last video, since about 13, 14, do the math. I don't know exactly how many years that is. Um, long lots. time though. Well, yeah, lots, exactly. Um, oh, there's the oven. 26, isn't it? 20, for what? 7 years? 27, 26 years, something like that. Long time. But my first ones are Crayolas, of all things. And they work fine, you know? And I put a couple of them fine. And, then, and it was on Bristol paper, which don't generally use for colored pencils because it has like no tooth to it whatsoever, but I made it work for somehow, I don't know how. And then I went to Prism of Scholars, yeah, because I got myself a set of them of like 24, I think, I don't remember. I still actually have some, oh my jaw, sorry, my jaw is like doing like a lovely thing today. Actually, it's been the last couple days where it just kind of 
feels like it's dislocating, which is impossible, completely impossible, because it's screwed shut. Well, not shut, but there's a fake uh, TMJ thing joint, so it's like screwed, and so it doesn't matter. Anyway, it hurts, so if I cry out in pain, it's because of that. Because talking is kind of like, no, don't do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I should have just, 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 just put like subtitles on this, but whatever. It's only nine something minutes, I should be able to get through it without crying out in pain again. Maybe, crossing my fingers. <laughs> Knock on wood, has there any wood? There's no, it's all fake wood around here. Oh, is this real? Yeah, that's real. No, <laughs> but the rest of it's fake. <laughs> you know, like, the desk from, um, I was gonna say Zellers. You don't get Zellers, you don't actually get Zellers anywhere now. Um, Ikea, why do I say Zellers of all things? You don't get Zellers, you don't get Zellers, you never have you don't get Zellers in Canada anymore. You know, I thought they were maybe bringing it back, but no, they did. There was like rumors about bringing it back, and so and then we're not talking about freaking sellers and Kmart and all that stuff. You don't get Kmart in Canada anymore. I know you get in Australia still, but not in Canada. So you don't get Toys R Us here, but you do in some provinces in Canada. It's kind of odd, but you know, hey. Now these Posca pencils. Actually, I'm jumping all over the place here because the pain in my jaw is making me be even more random than usual. Posca pencils are not cheap. I know that for a fact. I can't, I can't remember how much they are, but I know they're not cheap. So, Posca pencils. Even on cult pens, they're not cheap pencils for what you're getting. You can probably get, like I said, a, like a luminance pencil for the cost of a Posca pencil. I think. It's, it's close. I can't remember exactly what they are. I mean, they're nice pencils. Just looking it up. <laughs> I'm trying to find out. Yeah. Um, now, these were given, obviously, in Scarlet Book. About two pounds each. About two pounds each. So, really... If for an extra like 50 60 cents I could get a luminance pencil really and I like luminance pencils um I like I said last time I only have so many of them because they're so expensive but um and I don't need any more pencils so I need to use up the ones I have which will never happen before I get any more pencils but I bought these from Scarlet Box because it was five quid for the box so I thought hey you're getting more than the cost of the pencils because there's how many pencils so, I don't know six or seven so to yeah so really plus whatever in the box it made up the cost of you know buying the pencils so, um, ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, what? Have you met everyone problems with the Poskas? The oil. They're oil colored pencils, they're not wax. Okay. They're pigment, they're oil. Alright, I'm used to oil colored pencils. Smoothing oil paint effect by blending the drawing line with an oil medium. See, I use, I'm used to oil pencils, though, because polys are oil. I don't think they were. Yeah, polys are oil based. I actually prefer them. So, like I said, I like these pencils. I do. So, I'm blending the paper again. <laughs> But I'm going to try on different paper. I have other paper. I've got that uh, Claire Fontaine fat, uh, pastel stuff to try. I have some watercolor, hot watercolor paper to try. I have some Mi Tientes paper. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I can't say it right. So I'm going to try it on different paper because I like the pencils themselves. I'm not too keen on the paper for pencils, but like I said, oil, I'm going to try oil pastels or uh, I've got ink. Because I've got, I've got black, I've got tan, I've got gray, so I can try on many different things. But yeah, so pencils good. I like them. Are they worth the cost? And eh, they're okay if you you know you can get them, especially if you can get them for cheap. Um, <laughs> you still gonna see polys or oil based? I'm pretty sure they're oil, they're oil based. No, yeah, I can't find. No, they're oil based. You've got prismas that are wax, oils or polys, luminances. I think are. Well, even the Faber Castell site doesn't say. Which is odd. Luminance, I think are. But I don't actually know what luminance ones are. Huh? You know, they are oil based, as you say. But yeah. I can't find them. That's why they're harder. That's why they're harder because they're they are harder, and I actually prefer that now. But I mean, for blending, of course, softer pencils can be better. But with pencil crayons or colored pencils, you're supposed to like more layers the better. So this is the finished bird. You can see how patchy it is. But that's either, like I said, I think it's the paper. You know, it's not the pencil's fault. <laughs> um, I like how the beak turned out, but there's no shading on that. So <laughs> that's just me using the gray and a bit of white, the Derwent color soft white, to make the. You know, so maybe, maybe if I use colored pencils on this paper again, just do simple colors. Don't do any shading, because it doesn't work very well. But yeah, so, like I said, I'm going to try on different paper. Because I've, I've got plenty of the pencils left. It doesn't use up that much pencil. And, uh, the next video will maybe be a bunch of dogs, actually. A bunch of dog sketches. I'm crossing my fingers I get them all finished. It's a lot to get finished in, I don't know, uh, five days? I can do it. I can do it probably in the next two days. It's not a problem, but... It's still a lot of dogs get finished. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Um, leave a comment if you want. You don't have to, but it's nice. 
Oh, and last week I asked about if anybody wanted me to draw anything with their pencils. And oh gosh, I can't remember who, uh, who. I'm gonna have to look it up now because I. She. If I don't look it up and say it's gonna be really bad, click, 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 you'll be seeing her and. Um. Need to go here. Comments. Uh, Jude! Yes, Jude, which. Jude and her pencil is what she goes by on YouTube. She suggested I color a dragon in colored pencils. I can do that. Not a problem. It might be cutish, but. You know, I get, I can try, I try to try angry dragons, and it doesn't turn angry. But they always look cute. I try, but anyway, so yeah. But so eventually, I will be doing a colored pencil dragon too, because I like colored pencils. And you know, I think I, like I said in the last video, I think I could do actually a tutorial on colored pencils. I've used them for freaking long enough. You know, digital stuff, no. But colored pencils, yeah, I could do a tutorial on that. Because digital stuff, I just, I just wing it pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, would I pick anything else what I'm supposed to say? It's good little YouTubers. I don't think so. Like, share, subscribe. I did all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, did all that. So I'm pretty sure I said everything. Uh, so yeah, okay. Okay. Bye.